I'd like to go to North Carolina. Homelander, he, him. Uh, Homelander is a queer atheist, currently a university student. Homelander, you are on with Jimmy, Dan, and Forrest. I'd like to hear a little bit more about what's on your mind. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is just, this is just so great. I'm a big fan of the show. I've been watching it for a long time, especially Forrest. Just, you know, I'm more of like a science centered student. I'm actually a freshman here at Wake. And, uh, so like oh sorry so i kind of wanted to talk about like see like at a uh, wake there are a lot of like faith uh based groups you know you have like a christian uh group like a muslim group for like them to hang out you know and there is an lgbtq plus center and it's right next to the women's center in in the benson building and that's really nice but uh there isn't really like a secular student alliance or anything like that, you know? And I was thinking, you know, maybe once I have a little more uh, uh, time here at the school, like maybe when I'm like a sophomore or junior, I should kind of like maybe set up like a group like that to say like, hey, Why, why would you wait? don't believe in any of this. Why would yeah. you wait? Let, let me tell you this, Homelander, as someone who has – I've personally worked with the Secular Student Alliance for a number of different things. If you ask, they will give you the resources that you need, okay? Like if you're like, hey, I'm interested in starting a charter here, they're like, okay, what do we need to give you to make sure that a charter gets started? You know, like the, if it's something that you're serious about, like the sooner you get it done, the better because you're only going to be at school for so many years, right? right. So setting that's up right. that infrastructure not just for okay. yourself but for future students, that's a big deal. Just saying. Yep. Yeah, yeah Homelander, I think I asked, like, why would you wait? Because, you know, you know, you ever hear that old adage, like the perfect time is now. I feel like mm -hmm. that's true in a lot of circumstances. Uh, you know, let's let's get a let's get ahead of this thing, you know, figure out what are the kinks? What are the obstacles I'm working with? What do I uh, what do I need to get this done? I mean, if you wait till your junior year and it takes you a year to uh, really figure out how to lay down. Uh, the success of this organization, you may be, mm -hmm. you may be departing by the time you're ready to That's get right. going. So yep, for sure, I say you got a yeah. good idea, man. Let's go. Yep. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's, you know, I'm only 18. I'm a freshman. You know, I want to do it, but like, I have a lot of like anxiety. You know, I have like, there's a lot of like, I guess like emotional baggage and stuff that like comes from my like my younger years. You know. I grew up in a pl uh, place, you know, like where Forrest was talking about how he was in third grade and like he said, oh, you believe in God, which God? And like it didn't go over well. Like it was kind of a similar thing yeah. to me where like I was in fifth grade and uh, people were talking about what do you think about like God's plan for us and stuff. And I said, I don't really believe in God. And uh, the next thing I knew, I was in a headlock. So like, mm. you know, that's Home my there, man. I am, there. I am so sorry, dude, that you had to go through like, that. But let me tell you but something. I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, go, you ahead, go, go ahead, ahead, Forrest. No, 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 you go first. All right, let me tell you something. So, so we could all find excuses all the time about why we might not be cut out to do certain things, yet we still do them. Uh, we have to really push ourselves to take, take that step uh, to stand up and be an example. And for you, you know, I think that that's possible, all right? So you are not only 18 you're 18 right yep. you are not somebody who had this lifestyle and it was hard you're somebody that took a step to go away to college to get to get a scholarly the, the scholarly exposure that's going to help you uh become a better person because i'm sure that that's what you want you want to be educated uh, and now you're actively looking for ways to make other people's lives better so instead why don't you draw from the confidence that you should have as being somebody who withstood those headlocks, withstood all the reasons that you could have possibly found to not go to college and still doing that, right? Let's take this great idea. Let's take that leadership and let's implement that. You can do it. And the first way to do that, I think, is to really say, 
I am capable, right? And I don't have all these reasons that are going to prevent me. In fact, I'm going to do it despite those reasons or in spite of those reasons. And I hope that's motivational for you because um, you're at a time in your life, man, that you're you're never going to get back. You know, like this is this is college. Like this is an awesome time to really branch out and challenge yourself and find yourself uh, and and help other people do that as well. And that's just kind of me on my soapbox. So uh, I hope that's helpful. Yeah, I'll say this too. You know, you don't have to do this by yourself, right? right? Like, I know that they're like Jimmy's doing a very good motivational speech that makes you sound like you're on a like a noble quest to save the world, and it's not just you. You don't have it doesn't have to be just you. Like I said, like the Secular Student Alliance, if if you are really interested, they will help get you and they can get you the resources, and you can work with them to make sure that you're doing something that is going to be like really really great for not just you but also the people around you. And wouldn't you want to hang out with other folks like? yourself on campus and like be feel like that you're represented as well right because the alternative is what you go through the rest of your college experience not being able to have a place where you can feel safe with other students talking about these religious issues i went to a college that absolutely uh uh benefited from having a secular student alliance because there were so many other religious groups on campus trying to like tell kids like hey abortion is evil and you're and you're a slut for wearing clothing the way that you're wearing like you know it, it was it was almost like a safe haven so I don't know where you're at, right, and how your college is, but I, I, I do think it's worth looking into. And if you need the help to do it, you know, uh, the, the resources are out there. So anyway, we, we, we're really – I don't know if this is exactly what you want to call about, <laughs> but we are turning this into a, hey, you should totally do this. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I would throw in yeah. there, you know, like this. just – you you said at the beginning or somewhere in there you said I'm only 18. Yeah. Um, there are I high school you know, student alliance groups too. Yeah, yeah. That who do that. Why is yeah. that? Like when you say you're only 18, it's important to remember that that's you're now at the time when you can legally do stuff um, and people will not get in your way and demand you have a parent involved and stuff like that. This is your chance to be weird. Um, I, I don't think I've ever told this story online, um, but 18 is when I started my first company. I, I filed, it cost a hundred bucks to, to file an LLC with the secretary of state here in Oklahoma. And I like damn near on my birthday. Um, I sent off and did that. And I started a charity organization with my friends and it was poorly run because it was a bunch of 18 year olds running it we didn't do a phenomenal job but we we brought in several thousand dollars worth of toys and and uh, uh, uh clothes um that we gave to uh, the homeless shelter and to the uh, the children's shelter in our town. The children's shelter isn't even there anymore, but like we we did a whole um, Easter egg and a Christmas thing for those kids, um, all with donated items. We were we brought in a ton of clothes that we gave out to uh, uh, the local homeless shelters. We like we uh, uh, brought in a ton of food. There was this this um, uh, soup kitchen um, here in, in in Tulsa that was the only one that didn't require you to sit through a sermon to get food, and we brought in them you know several hundred dollars worth of food. Um, Um, like 18 was the second I started, I was able to do stuff on my own legally. And I took full advantage of that. And I haven't stopped since. And not everything I've done has been successful. Most of the projects that I've worked on have been failures. I can't tell you how many times I have booked, uh, I I, I used to save up money for months to book a spot at the community center to go and give it uh, free lessons and speeches and stuff and do community events. And they bombed and i wasted tons of time and money and i failed over and over and over and over and over and over until i got to a point where i was successful at these things and i was able to make a career out of this stuff and now that is my career is 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 trying to help people and trying to make the world a better place and doing public speaking and stuff so like you are at a critical point in your life where you get to um start failing in the right direction and I encourage you not to let the fear of failure or the fear of your age or the fear of acceptance or the fear of permission or any of those things stand in your way. You want to do something? Go fucking do it. And if somebody tells you you shouldn't do it, go fucking do it anyway. And if nobody gives you any help, go fucking do it anyway. And if you need some assistance and you can't find any, go fucking do it anyway. And if you don't have the funding, go fucking do it anyway. And if you don't have the resources or the talent, go fucking do it anyway. The only time that you shouldn't go fucking do something is if it would be morally problematic for you to do it without the tr- by yourself. 
But in most situations, if you're just trying to help people, the answer is go fucking do it. And especially at 18, I always say, if you are trying to find yourself, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of other people. So at this point in your life, the way I found science, the way I found education, the way I found public speaking was because those were places where I found my talents came out the most when being helpful when, when helping other people you find that intersection between your passion and your talent and what the world needs right now when you find it now at this point in your life and it will change the rest of your life and it will make your life beneficial to the people Damn. around you so Damn. this is your time go fucking do it and, Chad, and don't let get anybody a, get in your way check can i get an amen amen I, for that one I, my yeah goodness. this is the time for amen <laughs> yeah and i feel yeah. great like, i feel great after that I, I, I how do you feel when I'm going to do my dishes after this. You know, this is crazy. I'm so motivated. That's yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I guess like the way I think about it's like, you know, I'm a freshman and I'm already taking honors organic chemistry. I should be out there. I like, I'm already like getting all these hours and I should like go, I should be some, I should be someone big on this. I should be, hell I should, yeah. you know, hell like, yes, you should. Yeah, it's just like, ugh, I should already, I should be going for, for, you know, like, you know, it's just like, you know, I guess think about it as like, I'm the, I, I'm uh, among the next generation of scientists. I could, you know. Fuck yeah, really, you are. Really, yeah. Yeah. You there know, there are a bunch of, fixing. there are There's a bunch of people who have fixing. not been born yet that are going to rely on you to take them into the future. Mm -hmm. And you owe it to yourself to get going now, man. Truth. Absolutely. Yeah. Damn. You, there Homelander. Was, uh, you know, go ahead. Oh, oh, there, there was one thing I wanted to like mention. So there was, uh, it actually reminds me. There was one time I like. There's an aunt uh, I have who lives in Louisiana, and uh, she, like her husband works in, uh, her husband works in like gas and like petroleum and oil companies, and because of that, she's like scared by the idea of climate change, and she's decided that she doesn't believe in it. So there was one point where I there's like a whiteboard in the house and I just took the time to just like draw like a diagram of Milankovitch cycles, Beer Lambert's law, photon spectroscopy, mm -hmm. like albedo and all this other stuff. And it was like, all right, so CO2 has a high absorbance in infrared, right? So I'm always saying this be absorbing all that long wave radiation is going to heat up the earth that's necessarily something that would happen if there's more co2 absorbance mm -hmm. or concentration i was like yeah so uh, like, homelander just, homelander hold on I'm, i gotta interrupt you i gotta interrupt you you're telling me you can explain to me all of this or you explain this to your aunt but you can't start a secular group on your campus get out of here get out of here you, you can, can do break it, man. down if you can break down thermohaline cycles and Milankovitch cycles to an old person, you can fucking do whatever you yeah. want, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. This is so great. So Homelander, I, I see I see in your comments that you gave to our call screeners that you're a big fan of Forrest. I can't I'm so sorry. I can't disagree Absolutely. with you there, but next time you call, I, I want to see. I'm a big fan of Dan. Oh, yeah, I want I'm a big fan friends. of Jimmy. <laughs> we we have been listen, your success, your success has been born right here. It's been it's yes. happening right now. And you're hey. gonna get off this call and you're gonna go be who you're gonna be, man. Absolutely. Oh, uh Forrest, you wanna know which video on your channel is my favorite? I do. It's the one. It's the one that's titled "A Flood of Nonsense." I yeah, love that dude. one. So it's like, it's all of these make exponentially more sense than a global flood. And then you just like put your hands in there, and you're like, it, it is just. I just. I love it. I love it so much. It's, I like, also you enjoy that video. D fan, Doctor Vin, Victor Vendetta, and all the D and D. Stuff. <laughs> I love like all the. I'm just such and that, I am dude, such a and that's that's crazy. another example with 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 you know the, what what you're watching right now this this stream where we're doing this fundraiser is from Roll for Initiative where we're raising money for Docs Without Borders and all of that happened 
because I, I've never freaking played a game like that before, man, not a serious one. I, I did a little stuff when I was a kid. I never really played a serious game, but I knew what Jesse was capable of, of accomplishing. And we were like, fuck it. Let's sink. I, 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 I put damn near 10 grand into that project and it worked. And we raised way more money than I put into it. We raised way more money than any of our sponsors put into it. All of the funding that went into that combined, we have raised over double that now. And so like, it's, j- do it. Just fucking do it, dude. And like, do, like, don't be stupid, but fucking be stupid a little bit. You know what I mean? Don't, like, get bit. out of your own head. Get bit. out of your own way. I, I think especially people like us who are like who are in sciences, who like to think a lot, we tend to overthink sometimes. And sometimes you need to just fucking go for it. And just let and 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 when I say sometimes, I mean most of the time. Um, put yourself in weird situations when you feel when you get out far enough, far enough that you just barely can't feel your feet touching the ground anymore and you're a little bit in there that's where you do the best work so swim out a little bit farther put yourself in a little bit of peril and make the world a better place because of it boom boom absolutely homeland there thank you so much for your call today we're gonna let you go uh i definitely want you to call back and keep us updated on how how things go